Tomorrow's weather, bad for swannies, great for making power. At Meridian, we only generate power from wind, water and sun. Kia ora, welcome back. Hope you're ready for the end of summer. That's tomorrow, by the way. The weak cold front drifts off to the east of the Coromandel early tomorrow morning, which will leave the North Island in a south to southeast flow. Now, the South Island won't have much wind at all tomorrow, with a high building over the island tonight, and that'll spread a ridge up over the North Island tomorrow. So, as we can see here, mainly calm for Te Waipo and Amu, the South Island. There will be a few showers along the west coast tomorrow and isolated showers inland south of Timaru tomorrow afternoon and noisterly winds for the Canterbury and Otago coast. Now tomorrow for Te Ika, Amawi, the North Island, areas of cloud from Wairarapa up to the East Cape with a few showers about the coast and from Wairoa North. Isolated showers also pop up for Northland with fine weather for everyone else and south to southeast winds. So Monday for the North looks partly cloudy. There could be the odd shower too from Auckland North with light winds and 24 the high for Hamilton and Kaitaia. Morning cloud for parts here, which burn off and clear to be a fine day with light winds for all. The cloud does return tomorrow night. Cloudy periods down the east coast with a few showers for Gisborne, fresh southerlies or southwesterlies, and a cooler day with 19 the high for Danny Verk. And fine for the rest of the north, just a few morning clouds around. Southeasterlies north of the Kapiti coast with southerlies for Kapiti and the capital. Now over Te Moana, Orokawa, Cook Strait and Nelson will be fine but it's cloudy for the west coast with showers late in the morning or early afternoon. Looking similar here but with Blenheim remaining fine tomorrow. Morning cloud for everyone else down the coast. The afternoon looks fine with easterlies. And Monday starts beautifully for the rest of the south, but a little chilly with four the low in Invercargill. Clouds develop after lunch with possible afternoon and evening showers. Now to the cities and Aotearoa, Dunedin will have gorgeous weather tomorrow. Fine with just the odd cloud and nor'easterlies developing. Still a little chilly, feeling like 14 degrees with a chance of evening showers. A cold start of only 7 degrees for Ōtautahi Christchurch, but once the morning cloud burns off, the day is fine, with easterlies in the afternoon and a high of 16 or 17. Chilly also for Te Whanganui Atera Wellington with a southerly, but it should be fine with just morning cloud and warming to 16 degrees in the CBD. It will feel more like 12. And partly cloudy for Te Mātoa Maui Hawke's Bay with a few showers, mainly around the coast. Southerlies too, keeping the temperature down with 19 the high for Hastings. Slightly warmer north in Tauranga with a fine day, just a few morning clouds clearing, but then they return in the evening with light winds and a high of 23 for the city centre. And fine tomorrow also for Kirikiriroa Hamilton and the wider Waikato region, light winds and a high of 24 degrees. And partly cloudy too for Tamaki Makoto, Auckland, with one or two showers north of the city, light winds and a high of 25 for the Auckland CBD. Now over the Tasman, and it is a rough day weather-wise with a few storms around, most of the action will be felt in New South Wales and south-east Queensland with thunderstorms in Darwin. And thunderstorms are the common theme for the island groups in the vicinity of a tropical trough with showers for everyone else. So back home and we welcome in autumn on Tuesday with mainly fine weather here. Just a few clouds around. Fitianga can expect the odd shower on Wednesday. Isolated showers on Tuesday for Gisborne and they persist on Wednesday, also affecting Hawke's Bay through Thursday too. Looking good for the rest of the north, but Wellington can expect showers and strong winds midweek. Morning showers midweek too for eastern regions here. They clear by Thursday though, with temperatures remaining stable. And scattered showers in the south and interior on Tuesday, gradually clearing on Wednesday and looking good on Thursday. So there we go, summer is almost over, but autumn doesn't look too bad and neither does the Southern Alps from the air today, although it looks a little chilly, too chilly for me actually. Yeah, beautiful time of year though, thanks Heather. Well that is News Hub Live at 6 for Sunday. Join the AM team from 5.30 tomorrow and you can get in touch with the News Hub team at news at newshub.co.nz. I'm Tom McRae. And I'm Ingrid Hipkiss from us, good, good night. night.